Okay, it is 9.28 a.m., just two minutes before the market open, and some people are talking about ILUS. I'll throw it in the chart here, uh, I mean, the watch list to see if there's anything. I mean, I don't see anything con considerable other than it's close to the wakes here. I just don't see something that people would be interested in, but maybe people see something that I don't, I don't know. I'll be watching this if this can do some kind of a morning panic bounce play. OWUB can be a morning panic bounce play as well. Although I, I wish this one could at least have like three green days in a row because that would really qualify it for a morning panic bounce play. I just don't like how it has like two green candles, red candle, maybe one green, one red, and consolidation. It's fine. It's still up training. I just, when I see stocks have at least three green days in a row, they seem to play out so much better in terms of what it can do in a potential morning panic bounce play setup. AABB could be a morning panic bounce play, although again, this one only had two uh, green days and a red day, so you know, not as ideal. And these things are just going to be a wash to two. Um, actually, not two, just this one. It's a listed stock, JWEL, which is like a listed stock pump, I think. Now look at SBES. A bunch of unideal morning panic bounce play potentials, but they can offer something nice, and a lot of these, you know, have been up more than, you know, just two days. Uh, they're kind of you know uptrending overall it's just no clean two green days you know and then a third green day in a row so that's what I'll be watching let's see if we have any setups today okay it is 944 in theory I could have been in ILUS at I'm not extremely sure what price it was because you know it looks like it was a bit weird it was kinda ugly the way it was trading it's still kinda ugly the way it trades but you know it had this freaky price action here and then Big green candle with the yuppies push it up right at VWAP and it rejects VWAP and this entire thing would have been hard to trade. I had a chance to be an SBES and I think I just need to, um, I guess really just gain more experience to, you know, trading this thing. But essentially, um, this thing did a panic, right, from sub penny 46 to sub penny 39. And I was interested in a dollar risk level because this is also a low priced OTC. So, and the idea was is that it had a panic bottom here, and then with the strategy that I'm going with, it breaks the panic bottom just slightly here, and it holds. So I had plenty of chance to get in at 39, but I was just freaked out, and it took a long time to calculate my position size because it's such a low priced OTC. But um, it did play off of this 30. Five level right here you know it never got to it but in theory I was gonna play this as if it were to uh, for example I'm in at 39 it breaks 38 with slippage I'm out at 35 and that's my $8 risk level and unfortunately I just wasn't a part of it you know I was gonna trade a, a mega small position because it's a low priced you know sub penny OTC maybe like I forgot, but you know, trading off of that idea that you know I'm gonna cover worst, not cover, but get out. Worst case scenario at 35, you know, it was gonna be a small position anyway. But I would have liked to have been a part of it. That's fine. I just learned that with the strategy I'm going with, sometimes, you know, um, because I would look at something like this and say, okay, here's the range. I wanted to slightly break the range, and then it comes back immediately like a level two reversal. Then I'm in the setup, but. In this case, it just breaks this panic bottom low immediately, this next candle, and then it holds off of that. So I need to make just a mental adjustment and do something with that. I would have been out of this setup probably in the low 40s. I don't think I would have gotten to 45. That would have been a bit too much unless I got lucky and I saw at the ask here at 44 or something like that. And that wouldn't have been my entire position either. So this was definitely a profitable move. You know, it's just not an ideal morning panic bounce play that I like with a regular priced OTC. That's not a sub penny, but that's all right. I can get experience with that. OWUV isn't really doing much that I'm interested in. Uh, this one is just a watch. It's trading a bit weird, so I'm not going to put any money in that. I might be interested in ILUS, and I will make an update later. Okay, it is uh, 9.58 a.m. I had one trade. I really don't like the trade. I really don't like the way I did it. And I just really don't like the way ILUS is trading. Um, it just has a ridiculous, kind of nasty, disgusting spread. I probably shouldn't even have taken the trade. But um, I think right after the last recording, I saw a potential setup, so I got in. 
and I don't think the setup itself was bad I just think I should have closed and gotten out of the setup a lot faster than what I did um, I was in at 947 which was right here this candle I put an order at the bid at 261 and right when I saw this thing do a, a quick spike to 2653 with this amount of volume and then it just got sold all the way back you know to the bottom I thought this is not looking good so I tried to cancel my order but I wasn't able to so I basically knew that I got filled in that um, price action right here and then the next candle just started to look disgusting and I took too long to get out of the trade because when I was in it right here a 100,000 um, share seller showed up at the ask which is the last thing you want obviously if you're going long is you get in the setup and then this humongous person with a lot of size is selling at the ask right so I hesitated too long to get out of the position but at least when it cracked 26 I was already in a hurry to get out I was able to get um, a partial fill I was able to get 500 of the thousand shares out at 949 which was right here at um, 259 so I got out right here 259 at 949 half of my position it would have been ideal of course if I would have gotten all of it but you know that's fine that's not always going to happen I had 500 more shares the last section at 256 unfortunately because you know it was a partial fill so I had to place another order to get the rest of the shares out I did save myself from a move all the way to 25 it did hold 25 I just don't like the way it did it but I just probably need to adjust again with the thing that I was saying before like with SBES and that it makes a bottom and then the next candle I need to get used to the idea that the next candle can easily just break the panic bottom and then you know it broke it here and then it here it just wasn't able to get lower it broke under it but now it was holding above it now we have here a wick higher than these two wicks so you know it was a sign that this thing was going to reverse pretty salty that you know I could have been at 39 but I just need to get um, used to the new adjustment that I just made um, in terms of how I'm going to trade morning panic bounce play setups now and I think hopefully that can help me be profitable in a setup in the future uh, super nice move to 51 but I wouldn't have sold that high I probably would have been out in the 40s for sure and um, yeah IOUS did do the bounce there I just fucking hate the way this one trades it looks like trash right and then throughout the entire um, move towards the upside right there's always a person with a large size you know at the ask right it's just and then the bid and the ask just flips and moves at a different price range I hate the way this one trades it's so gross it's such a um, usually when I talk crap about a pump and dump you know somebody just gives it a dislike I'm not sure if it's a promoter but don't worry um, IOUS is gonna have some freaking amazing news and go to nine dollars just not today but one day right <laughs> I will watch this if it can make like um maybe a higher low lower low off of this setup here but I'm gonna be cautious with it because it's just something that trades so nasty but it does offer opportunities at least so I can't knock on it too much right and um, as for SBES if it were to come back near this panic bottom I think that would be a little too much because of how high it has bounced since this level it would probably be a bit too sketchy for me and um, a bit bearish overall so I'm not going to be interested in trading that yeah just one trade there with IOUS I should have been a lot quicker to get out the moment I saw a hundred thousand share seller show up at the ask and then the bid which was at the time trying to hold 26 was super weak it didn't even have like you know a person like this it, it just had like tiny like 300 share you know bidders or so, just something tiny right I should have been quicker to get out for that reason but um, you know I guess a lesson is a lesson and I can try to get better with that I do like how it follow the same thing that I'm trying to do with morning panic bounce plays where you know it makes a new bottom it cracks it slightly but it holds it right and then you can try to get in afterwards and that was you know not a bad move at all because you know this one did get to VWAP which is always a goal for me so 
I will make an update later. I might not trade anything else because I'm not in a best mood because, you know, I just don't like how I missed SBES and this one made a massive move. And I don't like how I didn't get out of my IOUS position sooner. Yes, I did have a partial fail. So maybe if I would have gotten everything out at 259, it would have been fine. But um, at the end of the day, I think I lost maybe like, I don't know, two or three bucks from that, you know, IOUS trade here. I just should have been quicker again when that large seller showed up at the ask especially how ugly this thing trades so i'll make an update maybe ios can do something near the bottom maybe not which is going to be fine but um i'll be watching it in the meantime okay it is 11:59 a.m and i want to make an update i was interested in ilus for inverse head and shoulders shoulder head but um yeah this thing traded with an ugly spread big volume spike here with the yuppies they kind of pushed it up and i'm not gonna buy it at 25 22 first i'd have to be executed at the bid and number two you don't know if it's actually going to play out or if it's going to keep downtrending and maybe play an even lower level where the day low was or maybe even break under it so this was a no-go and i stopped looking at it afterwards the range isn't really that nice anyway, but you know, I was interested in that. I just don't like the way it traded there. As for the other ones, I haven't really been looking at the markets that much anymore. SBES came all the way back. <laughs> Super nice move from 39 so penny to 51. Again, I would have been out in the 40s. I was on the right track. I just took too long and you know I need to really get used to the idea that sometimes you know, I'm thinking it's going to break this range here that it's trading off of, but it actually already broke the range here, and it's holding this. So, with that small adjustment, I think I'll be ready to uh, be better at Morning Panic Bounce Plays. ILUS, I don't think I went over it, but this was like a higher low setup. So it has a panic, spike, higher low, risking off of this level. And then, you know, because that 100,000 um, share person showed up at the ask, you know 26 failed and that kind of gave me a sign that this thing is going to break this level very likely should have been out of it faster that's fine uh, i think i'll make an update when the markets are closed i don't think i'll make any more in the meantime unless i just see something that i just absolutely like but probably not i'll make an update likely at the market close okay it is 8 33 p.m and i am here to call it off i actually don't look forward to this christmas um you know, we can, I, I really look forward to trading the next day trading is available, which I believe is next Monday. And I hope I can do a lot better. Now, I don't mind this with AABB. Again, I'm not really good with stocks that just break the day high because sometimes when I look at them, a lot of them just tend to fade away and not really do much or just top. But this one broke through and that's cool. If anything, that will make it a potential for a morning panic bounce play at some point. And that is what I like to do the most and tackle these and um yeah maybe i can try to get better at this but i want to really just master one thing warning panic bouncers which i feel like i did not do today that well with ious this one played me this one was um i don't mind missing this because this was really ugly and choppy but i was played right here when it was in theory uh morning panic bounce play um higher low setup that didn't play out at least i tried cutting losses the one thing with fidelity that Charles Schwab had which was um, a lot better was just to get me the heck out um, you know quick uh, speed key which isn't the case with Fidelity but that's fine I think Fidelity still offers really good executions and you know I still have to trade more with it but I think it's actually better than Schwab in that sense but I'll take a quick look one more time but I'm pretty sure Fidelity doesn't have like a speed key option to immediately get out of a position but that was the case there and it did turn around here it was all ugly too I, I was interested in this a potential inverse head and shoulders it did offer that but uh, the way it bounced back was pretty quick that's fine this thing doesn't really qualify for a morning panic bounce play in the future unless it does something just stupid clean so um, this one had an uptrend too but AABB was was a lot nicer and, and AABB is also at a much nicer spot if you look at a daily chart as well so JWEL nothing I was interested in the entire day same with OWUV and SBES pretty salty that I missed this one because this was a nice morning panic bounce play 
I just need to really stick with that adjustment I made last week and I need to stick with it. Sometimes there's going to be a morning panic bounce play and I get confused because I see it trading in a range and I want to see if it will break it and go with what I'm thinking about but I need to you know stick with that new adjustment that sometimes is going to make that panic bottom right at the end of the panic and then the next candle it breaks under it and that's what qualifies it as a buy when it holds that and that was a super nice one this one in terms of uh, percent difference again I wouldn't have sold anywhere there but a nice sell in the 40s would have been nice I don't mind missing this one this one you know sure it got near the lows and it uptrended right from the 40 to 45 but that took a while I don't I don't mind missing that one and I think OWUV tried that same kind of setup too later in the day and as you can see this one failed so I don't mind missing those um, I could have done better with SBES that's something I can get used to just with more practice and getting you know more experience with and ILUS I got played pretty hardly you know uh, just a very choppy stock but you know when I saw that 100k seller I should have been much quicker to get out it's something I've seen before it's a huge huge red flag when you get in the setup right when it looks like it's gonna do a nice uptrend towards the upside and then the little spike it did got sold into and then a hundred K seller shows up I should have been much quicker to get out and I shouldn't have hesitated there a lot of room for improvement but um, at least you know I get more experience and I definitely look forward to Monday